Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to H Out Reacts with the two hosts of the H Out Podcast, Mike Fantini and Evan Ward. And today, as you can see in the video title, we are doing the final group of the traditionally top five of WGI Independent World Percussion. I think this has been the top five, five late for sure for a while now. So we're finally have a solid video from our base 311 or AKA Robert Martinez, or I guess the AKA would be reversed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Drum court <laughs> coffee shop. Go, yeah. uh, go subscribe to his YouTube channel. All kinds of great lot videos on top of George Collins and drumline AV and all of those. Uh, and Alex, vlogs, I'm going to Alex. butcher Alex's last name. Nagayan. Is that how you say it? I'm not positive. I've never met him, but well, he's always hooking it up from Florida. You spell it just how I possibly mispronounced it to find his YouTube channel. They're providing all kinds of great lot content throughout the indoor and outdoor drum corps season. So check out their stuff. Go support the original content creators. Then thank you for letting us use your stuff to make these videos. But check out the podcast, podcast services, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit Become a member for 99 cents a month. Helps us pay for travel costs and stuff. We're going to finals this year. Uh, we pay for flow marching. Just helps us with all that stuff. And um, we appreciate the, the support and viewership no matter what, whether you choose to do that or not. All right. Social media, Facebook, Instagram. All right. Um. I feel like I word vomited all that. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to lie. I've been waiting for a good Broken City video to come out. And we finally got a couple from this past weekend. Yeah, they were kind of quiet for a little bit. And then there were some videos early on in just like some absolutely terrible gymnasium so yeah you couldn't read it well there was one from i think a week or two ago where i think you referred to it in one of our group chats as like a concrete jungle <laughs> you were like, yeah, I maybe can't, i oh, can't yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like that i can't video. i can't read this i mean this is just is what it is so we have a good video now let's jump right in we're gonna jump around that they rep a few of the same chunks a few times so we'll Try not to repeat a whole lot. We have timestamps and stuff on a notepad. So we'll jump around a little bit, see what they're doing this year, and then we'll talk about not predictions for finals at the end, but wh where we feel like things maybe sit. We kind of like to do that on most of our videos at the end of them. So here we go. Yeah, probably have to wait until I see this Long Beach Regional to get some predictions going. Yeah, for sure. Smooth tambourine rolls. Very solid tambourine rolls. That was an A-plus Met entrance, too. Oh, yeah. Kudos. Already a ton of space in the snare writing, like what they're known for. Decent work at the edge. Metric shift, like passing the. I was about to the call that out. The, you've got a lot of triplet based stuff with all that space in the snare line, and then to pass it over to more of a duple feel, whether it's a four over three thing going on with the tempo or just a new tempo and playing a duple rhythm, uh, that feel change is very abrupt as a listener. It's The effect is pretty cool. I liked it. Tough cold attack singles. They just <laughs> all played random shots. <laughs> that's definitely my least favorite part. Of the all show. the random shots. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's it's an interesting effect. I'm not gonna lie, interesting I'm effect. Sure, it's for texturally sure. and has a purpose. Yeah. But I hate when everybody screams for it. Like, yeah. freaking. Oh, I'm like, okay, it's just. It's not that cool. It's a cool sound, it's but it's not it's like a, it's some random shots. It's, it's not a throw babies moment from the crowd, you know. I've seen some beginner high schools make the same sounds on accident. Um, <laughs> Not that they're beginner, obviously. Yeah, of course. But I get you. I, I get you. I get you. <laughs> it's definitely more of an effect. I think it's the same phrase on the front here. So many isolated attacks, man. Took the quads a second to walk in there. Definitely a bad battery heavy heavy moment. I mean, I'm not sure that the front. I have a question here in a second. 
outside of the vibes, doing some textural stuff. So, I mean, overall, it's a lot of the same style of writing. Obviously, Mike Jackson's been writing the Battery Book since they've existed, as far as I know. And tons of space, tons of really tough cold attacks, just tons of re-attacks within phrases. And it's it's a really hard book. And there, I mean, I'd be lying if they, I said there weren't ticks throughout it. But it's one of those books I told you beforehand from stuff I have seen randomly a little bits and stuff on the internet before this. It's one of those books that's very high risk and very high reward. If it if it locks in, if they nail it. Like 2019 yeah. would also, when they won, would be an example of that kind of a book to me. Their shows never come across in video as well as they do in person from no. a vibe standpoint. No. Um, I'll say that for sure. I, I don't know if it is high risk, high reward. I, don't, I, I just honestly don't know how I feel about it. I mean... It's very minimal in like everything is very intentional, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It's it's definitely not my cup of tea. The respect through the roof for what they do, but it's definitely not my flavor. Yeah, I mean, I hesitate to be too low on it because I like the approach they have to the drum. I like all the space. Like, mm-hmm. I, I I like the vibe of them a ton, and I have since they've existed. So I'm hesitant to be too like judgmental because you and I kind of last season were not high on their show at all either. And then we right, get to and finals, we and, we're, yeah. and we're, we saw it in live, and we were just like, God, you're like on the edge of your seat at times, like from moment to moment, and just it was really cool live. So I'm kind of hesitant yeah. to talk about full big picture stuff. But yeah, I think uh, it's just we're, yeah, it's we're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Up, but yeah, it is so, what it is. All right, so we jumped ahead a little bit. Uh, we'll see. I think this is the next. Or we have an ad, so let me mute that. I'll let it play. We'll talk for a minute until I can skip this. I thought I got rid of all this. Someone recommended we uh, get YouTube Premium for the podcast account. We probably should do that. Yeah, maybe. It's, we should uh, just go. We're, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. We're back in. Looks like the starting from the pose here, the previous phrase. I love this timpani vibe lead in. Yeah. Play some tasty buzz rolls. I'll give him that though. Some intriguing dialogue from the battery to the front, back and forth. Yeah, very cool. Kind of better calling response. Yep. Front to back. I love that. Plus one count rolls. Locked in I mean, more I'm, once they all got in that blob, but yeah, some of those yeah. one count rolls were a little out. Obviously changing like body position, listening environments, but yeah. It's gonna change your listening environment a ton. Makes that very difficult. Nice bases. Very tasty bass moment. Obviously missing a, a bass right now down in a sling. Hopefully that's a short. Hopefully that's a short, uh, short injury or yeah. short lapse and being out. Pick up from where we left off. That was really cool. Hold on, I'm gonna back up and call that out. Did they played that yeah. flam like triple beat, but they moved it throughout the triple beat. Pay attention to that here. Watch out for that. It's really cool. I love those subtle little things in books that like the thing you called out with Excess Snare Break when they do the side shot, like that that's on the level of that kind of little intricacy that most people might not pick up on on a first or second read. Yeah, super cool. Yeah. 
Okay. The, the rolls on the, the drum were good. The rolls yeah, on the drum the, were, Is that like a rim shot roll? The duple rim shot thing. Yeah. I've never seen anyone try to do that before. And again, speaks to the creativity yeah. and the battery writing. Always I've never trying seen to do new to stuff. Do that. I, honestly, not sure if it's something you can truly balance. Like the second double of a rim shot. <laughs> I've never personally tried to play a rim shot roll. Yeah, me neither. So it's another one of those things that's probably there for effect and a texture change more than we're we're hitting the drum. That's exactly one of those things time. though that I'll have to hear it in person, which obviously I will. But that reminds me a little bit too of like snare split writing. Like when you're going down the drums, I'm just not like even if it's executed flawlessly, is it gonna sound good? It's we'll have to hear it in person. Maybe I would if somebody prefer heard the, it in person. From that sample, I'd prefer the rim shot roll more than the splitting 16th notes down the snare drums. <laughs> I will agree with that. Yeah, I will. I want to back up so we can hear that again. I think I went back far enough. Maybe if somebody's heard it in person, I'll have to ask Robert. This is the then. last time I'll replay this snare break. This is also going to be really hard to do without the mat. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool too. The uh, the same hand flam five reattack on the same hand. That's actually I've messed around with that in my own like hacking. And, like that's not a super natural thing to do. So it's a cool it's a cool visual cool visually and just like musically. Some of those like yeah pretty solid some of the times when they pull back for the the high accent moments is kind of like they're in it and then they pull back the wrist for the high exit to, get it, mm -hmm. to pop out those sounds and it kind of they wobble a little bit in yeah. and all the sound but still got there was a lot of really cool things that lined up between the marimbas and the quads the texture of mm -hmm. it and just musically it was very interesting to listen to i'll back Mike, up i'm one. so proud of you hey i am learning okay i'm becoming less <laughs> and less of a snare head or like a drum head I by mean, doing I'm more of these videos i love it Busting your balls. you're supposed to do that yeah the runs down the drums down the keyboards I think they're definitely playing more this year than um years past i was gonna call that out more too. material one of the things that you and i have said the few years we've been covering them on this youtube channel is we want more sauce we want more <laughs> beef within yeah. the space like have the space and the cool rhythmically interesting stuff in the book but past years have just left us like you've showed us this side of drumming that you can do Give us more beef. And I would say you know, you've had quad moments that have a lot there. You've had bass moments yeah. that have a lot there. You have the snare feature, I think, is probably one of the meatiest snare features I think I've heard any of them play. Uh, I don't want to make a blanket statement because I don't know all the snare features from the I past, like, past I like six that, years. But I like that 17 snare feature. That That's probably my favorite beast. I'm going to have to period. go back and watch 17 again because it's, it's been a while. But was that when the left hand shot, the isolated one? Was that that yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't I remember that snare show. feature. I'll have to go back that's, and watch. But that's by far my favorite show they've done. I do remember liking that show a whole lot, but I will have to. It's been a lot. It's been a while. It's been years for sure since I've seen it. But I do think uh, I do think this book is. Uh, they they have more density than they have the past few years. Oh, definitely agree. All right, we have one last phrase here, and then we'll wrap this up. I think we get some from the front ensemble. Yeah, here we go. Should we should we point it out? <laughs> like a little inside Easter egg, uh, as he said. Get your tambourine chops. 
are some smooth thumb rolls. Very smooth. Or are they doing the index finger with the middle I, finger? I can't tell. Maybe. Uh, might, be doing, might be doing the middle finger. The thing I liked the most about that phrase was the very end there, obviously, or the delicate tambourine section into the like melodic murmur of figures and everything. But the very end of that phrase, full ensemble, feeling a massive space together, and then playing like that bar or two, and then silence. And then attacking as a full ensemble again, silence. Like it's really, really, I bet that is super impactful live. We will find out. I think this is probably the same phrase from from the back. Yeah. We'll let it play out and then we'll talk for a minute. This Really one thing, touch. they always do something each year I probably haven't seen before, or it's very creative and interesting. Just adding like, just adding the texture of the one snare drum with the bass I mean, that's line. that's not a new concept. It's but. not a new concept. Like, you've had snare and bass, multiple snare drums, but the very, just how like the sound of one snare drum is different. Dude, that's than been even done a lot. One snare drum with an entire bass line? Yeah, I mean... Rhythmic Force is doing it this year. Rhythm X did it a ton with that door show, one door open with Jason Sal Sladeweiler and like the baseline, the seven man base. I mean, don't with that. Uh, what was it? Pag Pagani Pani? I don't know the name of the artist know. piece. I'm gonna butcher that, but yeah. Yeah, but it is a cool texture. Just to that's like, the point kinda... of what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not the historian like you are. I don't remember. I honestly couldn't. I don't remember a thing from that door show. So I don't remember a, a really thing big from, ensemble. I, well, I do remember that the, the huge snare line of like eleven people. Uh, but let's finish this out. Uh, I think it's Paganini, which I think I said Panini, which is a sandwich. But I'm pretty sure the food. artist is Pag. I'm pretty sure the food. artist is Paganini. I might not remember <laughs> so, past times groups have done this, but I do know Panini is a sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> my brain holds on to the important things, right? <laughs> Good job coming from the prep. Yep. From this angle, these look kind of like pajamas. A little bit, but... So, yeah, I mean... I overall like it. They have some creative ideas going on. The typical Broken City style to the whole thing. There's more notes that I like... And I like that, like we pointed out earlier. Uh, that's what we've been asking for for a while within the battery phrases. I definitely noticed the batteries playing more. I, yeah. I would yeah, have I can't to do speak on the front. On the front, but. yeah. But, um, so I, I just think they got to get clean. 
I think yeah, from a com- I mean, competitively. I, I feel like that's kind of their MO is they design to the end. Mm-hmm. Like they definitely don't peak early. Um, I don't think that that's ever been their issue. They usually mm-hmm. like are driving to the, the very end. I, um, in, in a show with like space like that, obviously it's going to take time to feel it together. Obviously in the lot, even with this, they're using a lot of the metronome. So just driving that home with the members, trying to get them in the same space in the same time in the same feel. Yep. I definitely, since they've existed, or at least after the first couple seasons, once we learned what they were about and the kind of shows that they, they did and designed for, I go into every finals week with them like, well, if they got really clean, they're going to finish really well. And it's yeah. either going to hit or it's not going to hit. And that might be intentional from a design standpoint. But I if like I had what to they make do. a prediction today. Yeah, I was about to ask. That. I would if I had to make a prediction today, I feel like this in not to say that they're not doing well, but this feels like maybe the first year that they might not finish in the top three. Based so, on where they're at with the level of clarity they have right fifth. now in my lineup based on how clean they are right now with only five weeks left i could see them not meddling this year for the first time in the ensemble's existence now put if, like a pulse x one two somewhere in some order and then like rcc third mcm broken city some that would probably be like my top five yeah right i would do x pulse one two in some order um and then maybe like a I, I dude, did. I haven't have, seen so many shows like a United. Well, uh, we can get to that. Dude, part. I can't. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. get to that part later. We have to watch more on the floor and everything. But yeah, I agree. X Pulse one and two in some order. I I would have. I like Mystique's book a lot, but they're a little rough on the move right now. They're, yeah, I as think a battery, I watched they're their a little Hattiesburg rough on the move. Prelims. Did Hattiesburg not even have a finals? Like I never saw I don't any know. scores from that. But but um, it seemed like they had a kind of a. I don't want to say. They didn't have a like super strong prelims run, at least from the stream. The full no, stream. it did not seem but. so. So again, RCC, MCM, third, fourth, and from from an overall clarity standpoint, I'd put Broken City in fifth currently. But with the caveat, if they go into finals week and stuff's cleaned up a ton, they'll for sure medal. I think they'll beat RCC and Mystique. If not, we'll hi- if not higher than that, because the book is definitely the vehicle from a difficulty and content standpoint is definitely there. The name of the game for them is getting as clean as humanly possible. And I'm, they know all of this, like people that run that ensemble are super smart. Yeah. We're obviously not talking to them. No, we're not talking to Roger and Mike and uh, Kevin Kevin Shaw. Shaw It's like, they know all of this. They're aware. Yeah. So, but it's going to be, how clean can they get? They have the vehicle. It's on the ensemble to clean up like crazy, and it'll be interesting to see. We'll see what happens over the I next few weeks. I need to see the show, and... too. I still haven't seen it. Yeah, so. I need to. I think a video went up earlier, or is about to, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. know. I saw so, the Pulse and RCC show. But... We've been rambling for a while. That's where we're at right now. We like what, the, what Broken City's doing. They just got to get cleaner, as I'm sure they're well aware. Uh, but I appreciate the difficulty and the demand within the show, as always. And... Subscribe, like, comment, join the membership, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon. You all know the deal. We'll be back with the next one. Peace.